Hello friends, welcome back to the another video and in this video we are going to talk about ES6 default parameters. We will go through a couple of examples and understand how default parameters helps us in dealing with undefined values, unnecessary argument checks and prevent unexpected results in our project. So if this sounds interesting then watch the video till the end. Also make sure you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have my JavaScript file here and the browser console and we are going to start with a very simple function which actually multiplies two numbers. So I'm going to write a function and multiply and this function is going to take two arguments a and b and it is just going to return me the multiplication of a multiplied by b and i'm going to call this function console.log multiply and i'm going to pass 2 and 5. all right and now if i save it then i'm going to get the result as 10 which is very obvious and expected but what happens actually if i don't pass one of the arguments so if I don't pass 5 that means I am only passing one argument and now let's see what the result is. So if I save it then I am going to get NAN not a number and that is because the second argument I didn't pass it is actually an undefined value. So to handle this undefined value one thing we can do that we can make a check. So I can do one thing I am going to do a B is equals to B or 1. That means that if the value of the b is available then use that value but if you don't have that value then just make a default value of 1 to it and now if I save it then I'm going to get 2. But here we need to make an additional check on the argument and we have to add an additional code and this thing can be easily done if we use the ES6 default parameters. And if we want to use the default parameters, what we can do is we're just going to add the value, default value here by equal to and 1. And now if I save it, I'm still going to get the same result. But now if you have the value, so I'm going to pass 10 here. And if I save it, then it's going to take the value which I have passed. So the default value will only be used if we haven't passed any value or the value is undefined. That means even if I pass null, then it's going to take a null and not the value as 1. So we use usually null when we don't want to pass anything or we want the value to be 0. So let me show you another example. So in the next example, I'm going to create a function and make API call. Alright, so we are going to make an API call. And what we are expecting here is we expect two arguments. One is the URL, the endpoint which I want to call. And another one is the method, which method it will be. It will be a get method or a post method. And I'm just going to do a console.log URL will be the URL which I am passing. And for the method, and then you have some logic here here all right and let's make this api call so initially i'm not going to pass anything so if i save it then we are going to see that we get the undefined values and now if i actually pass the url so i'm going to pass the url www.google.com all right but i will not pass the method which will be an undefined so i need to make a guard or a check on the method and we have seen this is the pretty common uh, way of making a check. What we do, we usually do an if condition not equals to method. Then I need to assign a value to a method and that value will be a get. So if I save it now, then I'm going to get the get. And this is very pretty common. We make a lot of checks like this just to avoid the undefined values and unexpected results. So this way, if I remove this, if I don't want to use it and if I want to use the default parameter 
then we can simply add the get here. So now it's going to take the default value as get, but if I pass a post value here, then it's going to use the post. Now let's see what happens that if we don't want uh, any value, we don't want get, we don't want post, as a developer, we, we treat it as a null when we don't pass anything. And if I save it, then it's going to give me the null value. But we never, as a developer, we never pass an undefined value to anything. So if you pass an undefined, it's going to take the value from the default parameter. Let me show you an another example, a little bit more complex, where we actually make use of this default parameter. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove everything. And first uh, I will create a constructor function of employees. So I'm going to create a constructor function of employees. And this method will have an ID of an employee. So I'm just going to pass this dot ID is equals to ID. All right. And I don't want that my ID should be passed as a hard code value like if I do new employee uh, I don't want to pass it as one or two or three I want to make this employee ID to be a randomly generated employee ID so uh, let me create an another function generate employee ID and this will going to generate and random employee ID. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to return math dot floor and it's going to do a math dot random function multiplied by 999. All right, so I have a random function which is going to generate me a random value every time and this random value I want it to be as in my employee ID. And I'm going to create one more function where actually I want to tag this employee into one of the department. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a function tag employee and it is going to expect an employee. So it's going to take an employee as an argument and then it's going to tag that employee. So employee dot department and the department is going to give as user and then I'm going to just return the employee. So I'm going to return the employee what I have. All right, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to call this tag employee. So I'm going to write a console.log and I'm going to call the tag employee function. And in the tag employee, it is expecting an employee. So I'm going to write a new employee. All right. And we need to pass the random uh, employee ID generator. So I'm going to pass the function here. All right. And now if I save it, then I actually get an employee with an ID and the department. But this is not so flexible. So this is a case where I am generating a new employee every time I'm calling a tag employee. But let's assume that you already have some of the employees in your company, the existing employees, and then you want to tag those existing employees to the department. So this is not a good solution. So in that case, what you are going to do is uh, you are going to do a constant here, constant, and then you are going to create an employee, which you already have in your department. And that will be a new employee and let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see. All right, and then you are going to add a generate employee ID. And now if I save it and I will pass this employee here. So in order to make it more flexible, what we can do is if we have an existing employee, we pass the existing employee directly with the employee. But if we don't have an existing employee, we are going to create a new employee by using the default parameter. So I'm going to write here an employee and this employee will take the random ID generator and I will save it. So now you can see that if I have an employee, then it's going to uh, take the employee. But if you don't have an employee, then it's going to generate a new employee for you. And this, this helps you to make it a little bit more flexible, uh, your tag employee function. So that's all I have in the default parameter. So I hope you understood the default parameter well, and you also know how it actually helps us in making the un 
necessary checks on are the arguments and preventing unnecessary or unexpected results. So if you like the video, a thumbs up is appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. I will add the links in the description below. Thank you. Thanks for watching.